Let's get going. Hey! Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Nico. Welcome to the vlog. Okay, so before we start, I wanted to bring attention to two changes that you might notice here in this episode. The first one being a little more permanent. The shelves, how do you like them? I installed them myself. So I was given like three shelves and I figured I have a power drill. Might as well just install them myself. I did it over two lunch breaks uh, the past week. It was a really busy week at work so I really tried to find like small pockets of time where I could like do this little side project. A little home improvement if you will. <laughs> I think it turned out well. Maybe. I'm still not done with it yet. I kind of want to add like maybe LED lights or something like that just to make it pop a little more. But for now, oh, pretty good, I think. And as you could tell by the title of the video, I'll be talking about uh, the newly released um, Funkos that are exclusive to Phil Bars. In honor of that, I wanted to make just one temporary change for this particular episode. Check it out. Eh? Right? I mean... Ateneo, LaSalle, we gotta do it. <laughs> So I'm obviously talking about the Funko Pops for De La Salle University's Green Archer and the Manila University's Blue Eagle. So as some of you may already know, and for those of you who aren't in the know, Funko recently released uh, a pair of um, collegiate mascot pops uh, in partnership with uh, De La Salle University and uh, Ateneo de Manila University, two very prestigious schools here in the Philippines. And they partnered with Phil Bars to do the exclusive release, so um, these are Phil Bars exclusives. I noticed they teased this like sometime during ToyCon, um, in the period of ToyCon here in 2021. I saw them post about it like at the tail end of June, something like that, and then they really just staggered the, the announcement of uh, when they would release the pops themselves. If I'm not mistaken, it was July 12 when they actually were available in the stores. It was a Monday. As the title implies, I am a hybrid student of both school systems. When I saw the pops myself, I figured I had to buy both of them. <laughs> yeah, so here they are actually. This one is the Blue Eagle of Ateneo. And it's the Green Archer uh, of La Salle. I kind of held back on making this video because work was really busy the past week. For the people who are very much uh, exposed to the Philippine toy content creators, especially the Funko Pop collectors, you've probably seen a lot of uh, reviews already. I know I'm a little late to the party, but I'd like to, you know, throw my spin and give my two cents upon it as a hybrid student. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit of a differentiator from the other content. Who knows? Let's get going. Hey! So first costume change of the episode. How'd you like that, bro? <laughs> From 1995 all the way to 2008, um, I was enrolled in La Salle Green Hills, the grade school, high school, exclusive school for boys in the La Salle system. A good chunk of my life, I've been bleeding green. <laughs> I've been hail, hail, hailing, you know? <laughs> We were there for DLSU. We supported DLSU in all its academic and athletic endeavors. Um, every victory and every defeat of DLSU, us LSGH students, we felt it also. We felt included because of this whole concept of one Lasal. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, let's talk about the pop. So back in 19 Kopong Kopong, um, a Lasalian brother liked the noble intention, I guess, of a uh, Robin Hood, the archer bandit who stole from the rich and gave to the poor. And also this folk hero in Europe uh, named William Tell. This guy was really good with a crossbow, so I guess um, he liked that imagery of having aim and focus, uh, which is sort of like a prerequisite in archery. You have to have really good aim and focus, just like in sports, just like in school, just like in life. So maybe that was the rationale there. And that's why we're the archers. As for Green, uh, same Lasallian brother. I forgot his name. Uh, I forgot the name. I forgot the name of the Lasallian brother, but same guy. He's Irish. He was Irish. So parang, I guess an ode to his homeland. He wanted to incorporate the color green because green is very, very closely associated with Ireland. And then white because according to Wikipedia and... Uh, 
you know, also with what they taught me in school. Uh, white is clean, it's pure, and also because in the Philippines we're known as the Pearl of the Orient or the Perlas ng Silanganan. So, green and white. We're the green archers. Go figure. Let's talk about the pop. I really, really like how this is designed, okay? It's a really cute archer. As you can see, uh, the archers post very dynamically and very accurately, okay, to school imagery, which for me is plus points because I know for a fact that there's a statue somewhere in the LSU and um, that statue is like an archer with his knee bent and he's like drawing an arrow um, loaded in his bow already. And that imagery is like super, super drilled in me also when I was in grade school and high school. So this is a very familiar image and it was really, really, really 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 well recaptured so good job Funko on that one it's cute like you could tell that you know the, the very basic archer the stereotypical archer uniform tights tunic little boots like an elf like Legolas who is also an archer and uh, I think I don't know if this is like a thing in Ragnarok but maybe there's like an archer's hat or something like that anyway the very typecast archer's hat this archer has it and he has a little feather. I don't know the tactical advantage of having a feather in your hat. Maybe someone else knows, a historian, a, a, a military freak or something, I don't know. But that, that's a design. I find it really cute, guys. Uh, you have to be prepared in battle. You can't just bring one arrow to a fight. So you can notice here that he has a little quiver. I've seen the quiver in like other unboxings. I'm not gonna unbox this, I don't want to take it out of the box. I feel like I just want this to be a very nice display piece. You can see like a holographic sticker and the holographic sticker image is like the, the seal of the LSU. And it also says official merchandise, so that's good. On the back, you can see like the very big uh, signage that you will notice if you were in Taft Avenue, which is big Terrasal University there uh, on the side of a building. I don't know what building that was because I never actually went to the LSU. In the comment box, if you're from LaSalle, type out Animo. <laughs> Let's see all that LaSallean pride, right? One LaSalle. One LaSalle. <laughs> Support your LaSallean. But anyway, this isn't the only pop that I bought when I bought this one. Because aside from being a LaSallean, I am also an Atenean! <laughs> Costume change number two. When I was a senior in high school, uh, I applied to colleges like everyone else in my batch. If not, most if not everyone. After 13 years in La Salle, in a La Salle school, in LSGH, I was brainwashed to thinking the next logical step was to go to the LSU. That was my dream school. But for some reason, they just didn't, they didn't accept my application. But Ateneo did. So, I guess I'm jumping the fence. My initial plan there was to stay one year in Ateneo so I could fulfill the minimum requirement of doing one year in college before transferring to DLSU. But plans change, bro. I fell in love with the school, I fell in love with the people, I fell in love with the culture. I really, really, really liked my days in Ateneo. I'm not gonna lie. Those are some of the most fun, some of the most memorable. Oh gosh, yeah, some of the best days of my life I spent in Ateneo, bro. Totally. I'm not even kidding. And when they announced Ateneo Blue Eagle Funko Pop, I obviously got beckoned, just like I got beckoned with the Archer. You know, from 2008 to 2011, Ateneo was my home, my go-to for literally everything. So yeah, it was a pretty good experience. Here depicted is the Blue Eagle of Ateneo. Fun fact about the Blue Eagle. Did you know that uh, it's the first team? Ateneo is the first collegiate team here in the Philippines to have like a moniker. To have a mascot. I guess the Jesuits were like, you know what? There are eagles that live in our campus. Let's bring one of them to the game. So for the basketball team back in like 19 Kokong Kokong, for their warm up and their layup lines. They would walk into the, like, they would go to the court with an actual eagle. Do you know how dangerous that is, by the way? To be in an enclosed space with a bird of prey? With talons so sharp that they can, like, just rip through your flesh. 
That's how badass the Atenistas were back then, bro. They feared not that bird. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I got this. Pretty cool. Anyway, the eagle is a symbol of power. It's like the king of the sky. It's like the strongest bird, I think. I think it's like one of the most badass birds of prey out there. If not the apex bird of prey in the skies. That's where the eagle comes from basically. Jesuits really just had a little bit of fun with that one. But for their colors, unlike the LSU, which is like basically an homage to one man's home country, this one has a little more religious significance. Ateneo historically has the Marian devotion like ingrained in their DNA. They really love Mama Mary. So they decided to color themselves in the colors of Mama Mary. Blue and white. Blue, white, blue, white. B L U E E A G L E. Blue Eagle the King. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the pop. So there have been various iterations of like how the eagle mascot shows up in, in like sports, in like competitions. There have been times where the Blue Eagle had like a white head. This pop actually closely resembles the official like logo of the Blue Eagle, which is like a blue... It's a blue eagle. Blue all over, yellow beak, yellow talons. It's very similar to like the imagery that they pump out in pretty much every merchandise that they have there. They even have like a giant version of the eagle on the side of the Blue Eagle gym. And that one lights up at night. And I don't know if it's still accurate now, but when I was there, the eyes of that eagle lit up red. They had red lights for the eyes. So it looked like a hell eagle from hell. It was scary. Try walking at night and then you see like two red glaring eyes at you and it's like a really big eagle. Nah, pass. <laughs> I think they're trying to scare motorists in Katipunan. Anyway, whatever. So, this is a very cute eagle. He has his fists raised, so maybe they just won a game and they're singing like a song for Mary. The eagle is wearing a jersey, a white jersey with a big A in the front. And based on the unboxings that I've watched, uh, the eagle has like an Ateneo, like the full word Ateneo written on the back of its jersey. So that's cool also. So if you study the box, similar to the DLSU, um, box. It also has a hollow seal in front, but instead of the school logo, it has the Blue Eagle logo. So it's just the Blue Eagle in holographic form. On the back, um, unlike the DLSU Funko Pop, this one's just straight up the Ateneo Manila seal. The school seal. And it has the big word Ateneo in it. If you're from Ateneo, in the comment box below, comment OBF or Fabio or Haliginu or, you know, all that stuff. I want to see how many Ateneans watch this. That's the pop. I like it too. Between these two though, between these two, I think I do prefer the archer just a bit more than the eagle. No offense to the eagles, no offense to Ateneans. The blue eagle looks cute and you know, it's really dope also, especially if you're from Ateneo any of the Ateneo schools here in the Philippines. When you see this, you'll be like, my school spirit is enlivened just a little bit. But you know, it's, it's okay. But this one's just a little more action. There's an arrow ready to fire. As a hybrid, that's why as a hybrid student, it's really hard to, to choose between these two pops. That's why I had to buy both of them. So I spent 16, 100 pesos instead of just a normal 800 pesos for one. I have to buy both. That's the curse of the hybrid student, okay? You are you love both schools because both school systems, regardless of like what alumni says of, about the other school, they're really, they're, they, they decent. They're okay. Can we get a few things straight though? Like, in my time in Ateneo, I've never heard of anyone go Arneo. Unless it was like on purpose to be like very tongue in cheek or whatever about it. What they did get annoying with was the Ateneo. They super love the of the Ateneo. Yung Lasal, when people go Luzol, I get it ba? I hear that. And Taft. Luzol, Luzol, Luzol. I don't hear Arneo. 
in Ateneo. I hear the Ateneo. I think this video is running a little longer than I intended. I just wanted a quick flex that I bought both my school's mascots as Funko Pops and I love this purchase so much. I'm so happy. I'm not gonna bother with valuations too much because it just got released by Phil Bars. You can buy these at uh, your local Phil Bars branch or you can buy it online at uh, the online Phil Bar shop or a reseller. Some resellers are already selling this at the markup so I'm like why would you buy it from them? So yeah that's the end of the episode but before we go please consider hitting that subscribe button, the like button and the notification bell. It helps the channel out. It helps me push this channel a little out further uh, via the YouTube algorithm. I want to see how far and how much this channel can grow. And thank you so much if you've been watching. This is the 11th vlog. I've been doing this since like April or something and you know it's been fun so far honestly. I'm trying to figure out like what to do next but until that time we'll see. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do next honestly but yeah uh, that's it. Take care. See you soon. Have a good one. <laughs> and we're done.